You ever wondered why your Power Automate flows seem to crawl when you're working with large sets of JSON data? Maybe your automation starts off quick, but when your data grows, things slow to a halt. There's a common performance trap when you're looping through JSON arrays. And that trap is using the apply to each loop, as you can see on screen here. It works fine for small data, but as your list grows, each loop adds up and it turns a quick task into a slow grind. Here's the fix. Grab your JSON formatted data. Mine looks like this. I've got 50 records and only four of them I care about because they are the four admin users. First of all, add the pass JSON action. Set it up with the output from your JSON input. Make sure you've declared the structure and then implement the filter array action, passing the outputs from the past JSON action and set up a query to check for the values that you want. Here, I've chosen the role piece of data and made sure it's equal to admin. So in my data, it's going to look at this piece of information and choose only the admins. If you accidentally create apply to each loops or for each loops at this step, make sure you go into the expression editor. You want to make sure you've got an expression which looks like this. By typing it in, you avoid Power Automate thinking it's going to have to do this multiple times. When you've done that, you can go a step further if you like and show only one piece of data for each of those. Here, I've used the select action, taken the output from the filter array and selected only the IDs. Again, to be super careful, pop it in as an expression that looks like this. Let's just give that a run side by side with an apply to each and I'll show you the difference. Before I've scaled up, that leg has run. I've set these up in parallel so you can see how the difference works. Here is going through each of those 50 items still to find my items that I care about. It's just finished, took 15 seconds that time. This, as you could see, took literally no seconds. Having a little look at the outputs, we get exactly the same values. We get the four items that I'm interested in on that leg. If we have a look at the IDs for the people over here, we've got four IDs. When I've just selected the IDs, there you go. You can see the same four bits of data. Structure slightly differently, so it depends what you need, but this is still maintaining a nice array structure to be used. So there you go, get round the speed trap, go straight to the data you need, pop it into another structure so you can use it quickly. Avoid these big lags in your Power Automate flows.